three things let you understand beer filling valve and its maintenance. A beer filling machine is a machine that fills beer into the container in a predetermined amount. It is the core equipment of the production line. Its performance affects the production quality of beer and the enterprise's benefit. At present, most filling machines adopt a rotating structure. That is, the packaging container rotates at a constant speed along with the filling valve. The filling is performed at the same time. The main structure of the filling machine consists of five parts. Filling valve. Bottle holding mechanism. Feeding device. Bottle height adjusting device. And bottle feeding device. The filling valve consists of. Liquid tank. The air chamber, the inflation, exhaust, and the vacuum chamber. And the filling container. The fluid path between valves can switch in sequence. It will follow the requirements of the filling process. It is a key component that determines if the machine can work normally and efficiently. It is one of the key components that determine the technical level of the filling machine. 01. Comparison of filling valve structure and working principle. The mechanical and the electronic filling valve all adopt the isobaric filling principle. The whole filling process flow is similar. We can see from figure 1. The main difference is as follows. The electronic filling valve has the function of steam sterilizing wine valve. When filling, you need to open the valve to inflate and equal pressure, and then open the liquid valve to return air. The mechanical valve realizes this function by relying on the dial's mechanical method to lift the valve stem's fork. In contrast, the electronic valve depends on the electrical control of the cylinder's piston movement which is stable and reliable. The process of achieving equal pressure filling is different. Mechanical filling valve. It realizes the connection of the relevant chambers by controlling the pressing of the guide bar according to the time sequence. Electronic filling valve. Connect the corresponding chamber through the switch of the pneumatic diaphragm valve. Smooth movement and guaranteed accuracy. Different vacuuming methods mechanical filling valve. Add a control valve on the vacuum channel, and add a pressure block on the centering ring. When the bottle lifts the centering ring, its pressing block presses the control valve's stem. Then open the vacuum valve to vacuum the bottle. On the contrary, it cannot be vacuumed and cannot reduce the load of the vacuum pump. Electronic filling valve. The electric eye senses the presence to determine the control of the diaphragm valve switch. And then realize the vacuum function. Different clean inconvenience. Mechanical filling valve. The whole valve is placed in the filling cylinder, so it is immersed in the material and not easy to clean. And it will have a stirring effect on the material during operation. Which is not conducive to filling. And the spring may produce microbial contamination of beer. There are dead spots for cleaning, and sanitary conditions are not so good. The electronic filling valve. It is designed with steam cleaning and centering devices. Make the residual oxygen and harmful bacteria content meet the storage requirements of beer. And overcome the shortcomings of mechanical valve spring immersed in wine. It is easy to clean and prevents the wine from being polluted again. It is an ideal filling valve in the aseptic filling of pure draft beer. O2. Comparison of filling machine supporting bottle structure and working principle. By a separate feeding screw device, the bottles are supplied to the filling table. All these processes will follow the required state, spacing, and speed. And the bottle holding mechanism will rise, so that the bottle mouth and the filling head are in close contact for filling. After the filling process is completed, it is lowered and reset. The position of the filling valve remains unchanged, only the bottle holder rises and falls. The bottle holding mechanisms have three structural forms. Mechanical. Pneumatic. And combined mechanical and pneumatic. The mechanical and pneumatic combined bottle holding mechanism works stably and reliably. The compressed air is circulated in the loop pipe and only needs to supplement the leakage, so it is widely used. It uses compressed air as the power source. Has good shock absorption and buffering capacity. It is not easy to damage the bottle when it fails. But, 
The movement speed of the piston is affected by the change of air pressure. If the pressure drop is small, not only the rising speed of the bottle will be slowed down. It is also difficult to maintain close contact between the bottle mouth and the filling head. It is easy to cause wine leakage and foaming, and the wine is not full. If the pressure rises greatly, the rising speed of the bottle will increase. It will not be easy to align with the liquid inlet pipe. And make the bottle receive a strong impact force, it is also easy to cause alcohol. The pressure of the bottle holding cylinder has a certain relationship with the filling pressure. Generally, when the filling pressure is 2.04.0 bar, the pressure of the bottle holding cylinder is 2.53.0 bar. From Figure 2, we can see that the mechanical valve adopts a mixed centering type lifting mechanism. During the whole process of filling the wine, the bottle, and the wine valve approach relief as needed. The wine machine keeps the height of the wine valve unchanged. This action is completed by lifting the bottle with the lifting cylinder. When the lifting cylinder revolves around the center tower, the cam profile changes in the high direction, forcing the roller to take the lifting cylinder and the outer cylinder to descend. In this way, the bottles after filling the wine also drop together. Disengage the filling valve above. The electronic valve adopts a mixed eccentric bottle holder and bottle mechanism. Use the pneumatic mechanism to hold the bottle up evenly with self-buffering function. At the same time, it takes advantage of the feature that the cam descending mechanism can better get smooth motion control. Make the lifting movement of the bottle holder get fast and good working quality. 03. Maintenance of Filling Machine The beer filling machine has the most complicated operating procedures in production. It affects the quantity and quality of beer production. The beer filling machine is configured in a humid and acidic, harsh environment. It is operated in the high temperature climate in summer. Lubricating oil and grease should be filled in the relevant parts as per the regulations. Try to do the ventilation and drainage of the workshop. Work is completed. The equipment should be cleaned. The protective cover of the equipment should be installed. Protect the transmission mechanism and pay attention to personal safety. Filling equipment repair and maintenance, including Operating Maintain Maintenance Detection Retrofit And update The purpose is to make the equipment reach the best technical state and achieve the highest operating efficiency. To achieve the most reasonable and effective operation capability. Improve the economic benefits. Filling Machine Troubleshooting Method There are two main ways to check the fault of the filling machine. A Intuitive Method The maintenance personnel can often reduce the fault to a certain part by observing the abnormal phenomena, such as light, sound, and smell when the fault occurs. B. Self-diagnosis function method. Although not reached a high degree of intelligence, the filler has a strong self-diagnosis function. It can track the working condition of the mechanical and electrical parts at any time. Once an abnormality alarm, the approximate cause will show up on the panel. We can find out the approximate location of the fault. Once a failure occurs, we should not rush to deal with it but we should conduct more observations and experiments. A. Investigate the accident scene. On the one hand, investigate the operator and ask in detail the whole process of the failure. Check the failure record. To understand what happened and what measures we should take. On the other hand, it is necessary to conduct a detailed survey of the scene. From the appearance to the inside, carefully check if there are any abnormalities. B. Analyze the cause of the failure. When the self-diagnosis cannot show the cause, we should list from the mechanical, electrical, hydraulic, pneumatic, etc. Comprehensive judgment and screening. Then through experiments, the purpose of diagnosis and final troubleshooting can be achieved. Maintenance and maintenance. Stick to prevention. Develop detailed monthly and annual maintenance budgets. Strengthen the planned preventive maintenance of equipment. Use equipment classification as the basis. Establish preventive maintenance based on routine inspections and regular maintenance. 
establish equipment integrity rate standards and maintenance systems. For those parts with repeated failures, improve and repair the cause of the failure. Prevent the recurrence of similar failures. Identify the key factors affecting the quality of the equipment. Take measures to reduce or eliminate quality defects in the process of development. Focus control. Concentrate limited maintenance resources on important equipment. That is to distinguish the different importance of the equipment. And take different maintenance and maintenance countermeasures and measures. Implement effective hierarchical management. It can not only save costs but also meet the requirements of normal production. Decompose the integrity rate of general machinery and equipment to special equipment. Turn the integrity rate into production efficiency. Equipment maintenance records and analysis, forming a PDCA cycle. Develop a complete shift record system. Daily and annual maintenance items. Held regular maintenance troubleshooting summary and improvement work meetings. The recorded items must be realistic, strive to be complete, specific, and clear. And make the relevant personnel fill in its content correctly. Analysis of equipment failure. Failure rate. Mean time between failures. Major failure rate. Failure frequency rate. Failure reason, etc. It should be classified according to the nature of the equipment, the nature of the fault and the location where it occurred. To grasp the main problem. And continue to summarize and exchange the experience of troubleshooting. Improve the fault judgment ability and maintenance technical level. Equipment maintenance records and analysis, forming a PDCA cycle. Develop a complete shift record system. Daily and annual maintenance items. Held regular maintenance troubleshooting summary and improvement work meetings. The recorded items must be realistic. Strive to be complete, specific, and clear. And make the relevant personnel fill in its content correctly. Analysis of equipment failure. Failure rate. Mean time between failures. Major failure rate. Failure frequency rate. Failure reason, etc. It should be classified according to the nature of the equipment, the nature of the fault and the location where it occurred. To grasp the main problem. And continue to summarize and exchange the experience of troubleshooting. Improve the fault judgment ability and maintenance technical level. Actively promote TPM activities. Logic analysis of the failure rate of filling equipment. Equipment lubrication. Cleaning. Online monitoring. Inspection. Key detection. Regular maintenance. Equipment Update Make improvements to achieve the best level of equipment integrity. To achieve zero failure, high efficiency production operation.